Hello viewers, my name is Ayana Jayabalan. In this video, we are going to see about how to mock HTTP request using HTTP interceptor or middleware in Angular. Okay, so if you want to test your Angular application without depending on API, for example, that API team, it may take, you know, uh, some time to complete that that API endpoints. So until then, you no need to wait. Okay. So instead of waiting for the API endpoints to complete your uh, Angular code, what you can do, you can mark that HTTP request in that Angular code itself, so that you can complete your Angular application. You know, using that mock data. Okay. So you know you no need to wait for that the API to be completed. So once that API team completed, what you can do, you can remove that interceptor or middleware from your application so that, you know, it will make a request to the, the real endpoint. Okay. Until then, what you can do, you can mark that one. So all, all your HTTP request, you will get the, you know, you can get the data from the Angular application itself. Okay. Let's see that one. How to, how to mark your HTTP request using the HTTP interceptor. Okay, let me, uh, let's get into the implementation now. In one of my previous video, I have already created, you know, uh, some one HTTP interceptor for uh, inserting that, you know, token as part of my header and uh, I will, I have included that, you know, video in my uh, description. Please check that one. Okay, here, you know, I'm going to add that mock interceptor for basically let me show you how, how, how I am going to mock it. Let me run that HTTP here. I'm just logging out here. I'm running the application existing application. So I'm just logging in. So if you see that one uh, for login, I'm just making a request to the user JSON to get the data. Okay. So I'm making a real API request to get the data. Okay. So if you see that one, I'm making the real API request to get the data. And same way to get the dashboard details, I'm making a real HTTP request to get the dashboard data, revenue and profit. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to you know, mark this HTTP request, instead of sending this request to the API, you know, what I'm going to do, I'm going to mark it and return it from the Angular application itself. Okay, let's see how to do that one. Let me open it. Let me create one uh, interceptor for mock. So mock interceptor is created. Now let me say my return type would be any type. Okay. So what I'm going to do now here, I'm going to check my request URL. Okay. My request URL ends with dashboard.json. If that is the case, Okay, I'm going to return the mock data. Okay, so return of null dot pipe. In that, I'm going to use an operator called merge map operator from ArcsJS. or xjs operators match map okay so let me get into the implementation now
So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to return some data or wait an hour. I'm going to return new new HTTP response. Okay, so inside that I'm going to say body Okay, let me change this to I'm going to say so basically what I'm doing here you know I'm just check my request is dashboard JSON and I'm going to send my own response instead of passing the request to the real API endpoint okay I'm just blocking the request here itself I'm sending the response from here itself instead of sending my request to the real endpoint okay so here I'm going to return you know uh, data called something twenty thousand dollar revenue and the profit equal to five thousand okay so let's see how it works okay if you see that one let me getting into that login and uh, login and the dashboard and still it's making the request and showing the ten thousand dollar but we are returning twenty thousand dollar so still it's making http request real to the real endpoint so why because we haven't added that http interceptor in our app model okay let's go and add that one add my provide HTTP interceptor use class which interceptor my name is mock interceptor multi equal to true okay so just now I have added let's see how it works Let me getting into the login again. I'm just login. I'm seeing the user request, real request. Let me getting into the dashboard model. If you see that one here, you know I don't. I am not making a request to that. You know real endpoint. What I'm doing here, I just got the response from the mock interceptor itself. Okay. If you want to see really whether it is written from returning from here what i can show you here uh, here i can show the mock interceptor and just you know making sure it is returning from here real dashboard request block and return uh, mock response okay let's see login login and getting the dashboard and let me see my console if you see that one yes real dashboard request block and return mock response okay this is a way you know you can complete your angular application without depend on API endpoints okay because sometimes you know that API team will take its own time to complete that one but angular team what they can do they can complete their angular pages by means of having the mock response okay hope you enjoyed and understand that one how to do the mocking for your HTTP request okay 
please subscribe if you would like to see more tech videos like this thanks